5.45 later today marks first day of spring, which means you'll start seeing some familiar spring insects flying around. Our Sarah Costa is walking us through the new butterfly house at the San Antonio Zoo, showing us the different types of butterflies and why it's important to be educated on these powerful pollinators. We're also getting a sneak peek at a new animal that's living in the greenhouse. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sarah Costa. We are at the San Antonio Zoo today and we are checking out their new exhibit, the Butterfly Rainforest. Let's go on inside. So we're in the butterfly exhibit. It's so amazing. It feels magical in here. And I'm joined with Ruby Hymas. She is our butterfly queen expert. I mean, look, there's butterflies all around us, Ruby. I love this exhibit so much. So how many butterflies do we have in here? And what are we looking at? What kind of species are there? So we have a variety of over 500 butterflies currently inside the butterfly house. Just so you guys are aware, it's 43 exotic species, just like this one that flew by us. It's called the leopard lacewing. And we also have three native Texas butterflies in here as well. Right behind me, I actually have the Atlas moth, which is the world's largest moth. You can see right over here by the glass. And he's the only moth we have on exhibit right now. He is so big and then what are these two other beautiful butterflies there's a blue one and a white with orange right there behind them yeah so we have of course our great yellow mormon which is our older butterfly you can kind of see a little bit of wing wear and then the large blue one it's our guest favorite it's going to be the common blue morpho native to costa rica why is it so important ruby to have not just this interactive exhibit but to promote the education of butterflies to your, um, the visitors here at the zoo so one of the biggest things that we tell people is to, of course, care about any type of invertebrates from the smallest caterpillar to the largest butterfly or even any other smaller insect. Reason why they play a huge role in our ecosystem. We want to make sure that they're pollinating, giving us the fruit and veggies that we need to grow strong, of course, but also to help out the ecosystem and help out any animal other than that. So it's going to be helping out our largest um, rainforest animals like sloths. It's going to go and help out jaguars. It can help out even the local ones here in Texas, like birds, lizards, like the Texas horn lizard. It's just amazing the amount of things that butterflies can do all on their own. They really play such an important role in our ecosystems across the world. I love that you also have, talk about the chrysalis. People can watch um, the whole cycle. You just had a butterfly land on you. <laughs> yes, of course. So the biggest thing that we love about this new building with John and Grelly Les at Butterfly um, Rainforest, we can actually view our chrysalis up close and personal, which a lot of people weren't able to do that with our previous butterfly house. And they can actually view it right over here in this window. As they're emerging, they can see the whole process from the moment they come out of the chrysalis, stretching out their wings and getting ready to fly to be put in the display area specifically. Okay, and before you go, it's not just butterflies we have in here. We have a special guest, a, a, a baby boy sloth who has not been named yet. And, and the sloth is just kind of enjoy he has honestly the best home <laughs> yes he is and it's actually like really cool that you mentioned that because we are the only butterfly house in north america that houses a sloth inside its greenhouse which is beyond words we have two little ones that are still nameless we're actually doing a whole promotion on that right now on our website and it's going to be a boy as well as a girl we also have yavari our ambassador animal who will be retiring and moving into this house permanently later on as well well thank you so much ruby for any more information just head to our website ksat.com back to you guys Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.